For now, to Kwara State, where civil rights activists are demanding justice for blessing Olajide, a 300 level undergraduate student of the University of Ilori, who was raped and murdered by yet to be identified rapist. The activist who protested in Ilori described the rape as one too many. Correspondent Ibrahim Alige reports. The dastardly act was said to have been committed in this house at Tanke along the university road where Blessing lived with our guardians. It's more or less like my daughter. She had been with me for the past seven years. I came back home from the office on Wednesday and I met her lifeless body in the sitting room. I'm demanding for justice. The killers, I want to know them. I want to know, and I also want to know why she was killed. A rape and murder sparked a peaceful protest by civil rights activists in Ilori, the Kwara state capital. They are demanding justice for blessing. So we are calling on the government, we are calling on the security agencies to ensure that the perpetrators are brought to book, that the killers of more Umi, blessing all are brought to book. Rape and murder in our home, we are safe our children, we are not safe, our children are not safe. This one is murder too many. Last week we had two issues, rape, rape, rape everywhere. Even yesterday, rape case was also reported to FIDA office. What are we doing about this? What is the government doing? The position of National Human Rights Commission is they are going to collaborate with all the various uh, um, security agencies to ensure that the animals, the perpetrators, the criminals are brought to justice. And we are going to ensure that justice is done to the family of the disease. The state government has equally called for a thorough investigation into the crime. We need to do thorough investigation about what might have come for all these people to have killed these young ladies, the innocent girl. Because as even with, with her, her parents, we know that she's not the type that she, that deserves this. And I'm trying to appeal to the government. They have to do something about this issue. We should not allow the perpetrator, perpetrator to, to go free. So and I'm urging all our security agency to do something. The police have promised to get to the root of the matter while the remains of the deceased have been deposited at the mortuary of the University of Illinois Teaching Hospital. Until she was gruesomely raped and murdered, Blessing Olajide was a 300-level undergraduate of the University of Illinois. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Illinois.